This is the grade eight playground design project, part five or video five of this. In the previous video, we designed our platforms. Uh, in this video, we are going to design our series of monkey bar poles. The first one that we're going to do is our monkey bar one, which is the top one. We can see on this that we have a six by six inch uh, bar that's going to be extruded 96 inches. After that extrusion, we are going to have two inch holes that there's seven of them that are each spaced out uh, 12 inches apart and three inches to the center. Going to our on shape, I've already created a file called monkey bar. We're going to start with a sketch on that front plane of a six inch by six inch square. We can then extrude that part 96 inches. Gain perspective on our part. I'm going to grab my sketch tool and on the side of this part, again, we can see that it would be the right side of this part. I'm going to orientate myself and I'm going to grab my circle tool. I'm going to place my first circle on and that circle is going to be two inches. And I need to place seven of these on. Now I'm going to space them out because I know I'm going to come back and dimension these. And there are other ways to do this part as well. I'm showing, choosing to show you this way. But I need to put seven of my circles on. And that's my final one. The real work is going to be done with the dimension tool now. So I'm going to click on my dimension tool. I'm going to click on the center point of this circle to the bottom line and dimension that three inches. And the center point to the side, I'm going to dimension that 12 inches. And literally, I'm just going to go down the line and do the same exact thing. Three inches. Double click three inches to the top. And then I'm 12 inches apart. Again, I can go 12 inches apart. And it doesn't again matter because the piece is six inches if I go three from the top or three to the bottom. And 12 inches apart. And three from the top. Twelve inches apart again. Again, a little tedious doing the same thing over and over. But this will ensure us that our part is made to specifications. An easy way to check that you've spaced this correctly is I can grab my dimension tool and I should end up with 12 inches to the end, which I in fact do. So after we've completed that, I'm going to click on my extrude button. We're going to notice in the menu all of those uh, faces have been chosen. I'm going to click on the remove function and I need to remove six inches of material. And that is the monkey bar part. In the next two videos, we're going to create the upright ladder and the upright ladder with the opening in it uh, using the same method.